and welcome to another tutorial for the ICRS patient registry. Today I'm going to show you how to add in some information about a surgical or an injection procedure that you've given to a patient that is in the ICRS registry. So we've previously shown you how to add patients and find patients and also how to put in some conservative treatments for patients. So this will concentrate specifically on non-conservative treatments. So the first thing I'm going to do is look for a patient that we've previously created. So this is testing, testing. And what we'll see here is that there's um, a red condition here because we haven't completed any information on a surgical procedure or treatment that isn't um, conservative. So you can enter this form by clicking this red line here, or you can go up to it in procedure slash treatment. So I'm going to use this. Now what you're greeted with here is um, a default form. So in my portal, I've created a default form for injections. However, if you don't have a default form, you'll go straight into the usual form, the usual questionnaire. So if we had done an injection, we could click on this form to bring up um, pre-answered questions. However, for the purposes of this tutorial, I just want to show you what the usual form looks like. So the first thing you need to do is check the date of procedure. And I think usually this would be done on the day of the procedure. And then you can decide whether you want a data set only or the data set and complete procedure record. Um, so the data set only is a shorter version of the form. Um, but I will show you the data set and complete procedure record for now. Um, so you'll have to check that it's the right side, and then you'll be asked um, to describe the patient's opposite knee. And what you'll see is as you click through these, the validation errors, the number of questions that you haven't completed yet, um, will go down. Um, so here you'll be asked where the procedure took place, and in your portal it should have the hospital or hospitals or institutions that you work at already listed. If they're not, please get in touch and I can um, fix that for you. And you'll see that the red questions are the mandatory questions. So I'm just clicking randomly here. So um, there's some detail on the anesthetic. Um, and then you can put the approach. So here you can decide whether it's primary revision, second revision, third revision, etc. And then click on the type. Then there are some other questions that you can fill in if you have the time, um, or also if you have the um, information available. So the questions are quite detailed if you um, do have the time, but there are a certain set of questions that are mandatory. So you don't have to complete all the questions if you can't. So here we could um, say that there was patella damage and it was chondral. And then you just click through the questions like this. So for this example, you'd be asked to put in the size of the defect. And then you can click where it was and the grade of the defect. And it will ask you whether the menisci are normal. So as you can see, I'm not filling all of the questions here. I'm just filling the ones that are mandatory. So you can say, no, they didn't have any additional surgery. There were no complications. And you might say that, no, they won't wear a brace postoperatively. And these are just some questions about the physio. And this is all up to yourself, of course, whichever your um, usual practice is and what you've done with the patient. And what you'll see here is um, some information that has been completed already for the patient um, at their baseline. 
And um, if this has changed, you can change this information here. But if not, you can just save. And what you'll see then is that the procedure slash treatment button has turned black because the um, because you have completed the information for the patient. And you'll also see that the future tasks has moved from two up to 45. And if you click this, you'll see that the reason behind this is that they now have a number of um, questionnaires waiting to be sent to them at certain times. So the first one's at six weeks, six months, et cetera, all the way up until 10 years. And you can see the estimated dates that these will be sent to the patient. Um, and once the patient fills in these scores, you will also be able to see the answers for the patient in this outcome scores button over here. But that is how you um, input a procedure or treatment for a patient. If you've got any further questions, please don't hesitate to get in touch. Thank you very much for watching.